Hey, I'm Marcel Berto and welcome to another edition of Bar Downloadable. Is Doc coming back? It's been nearly a month since the streamer was permanently banned from Twitch. No one knew why then, and no one knows why now. And for the first time since the ban, Doc released a video. All eyes immediately went to the video to see what the grand announcement was. Just a one minute long slow zoom into a silhouette of Doc. In an interview with PC Gamer, Doc said that he would not be returning to Twitch and teased that we should expect a Doc 3.0. Doc's apparently got something planned, and we have to wait for it, because hey, we're on his time here, and who knows if we're ever going to learn about why he was banned from Twitch. Well, we better though, because it's been a minute, and we all need to know. We just need to know this information, okay? And now it's time to hand out the award for most shocking gaming news of the week. According to Slasher, PlayStation dropped a trailer for an upcoming game and then quickly deleted it. But that didn't stop him from getting it, sharing it, and for the entire gaming world to give it all the attention it could have ever asked for. The game is called Gamer Girl. It puts you in the shoes of a Twitch moderator who is trying to protect a streamer from internet trolls. But the game gets way more strange and real as the trailer shows the streamer running away from a stalker, or perhaps a crazed ex-boyfriend, jealous ex-boyfriend, it's unclear. People in the gaming community have called out the developer due to the content of the game and the tone-deaf timing of the trailer being released. Or I guess not released. Who even knows here? This could have been a marketing play. According to devs, the objective of the game is to raise awareness for online toxicity and the dangers behind anonymity. Well, a lot of the gaming community would like to disagree. But I'm sure just like that stupid Gamer Girl backwater, this will sell more copies than the developer could have ever asked for. One of those gamers is Overwatch League broadcaster Zoe, who says, This ain't it. And the statements made in an attempt to defend their tone-deaf concept is sick. This isn't drawing attention to anything, nor is it empowering the streamer. This is creating an environment which enables people to act out entitled, proprietary, twisted fantasies. F off. But people are still going to play it and stream it and get views. And that's on society. As for actual game releases, it was a massive week. Headlining the new drops is Ghost of Tsushima, which has stunned people with its visuals. It features a massive open world and has been praised for its jaw-dropping scenery and smooth combat. One of the most loved features of the game thus far is the photo mode, where you can take advantage of the striking visuals. There's even a black and white mode so you can match the style and time period in which the game takes place. On the lighter side of games, Paper Mario and the Origami King is now out for Nintendo Switch. The original Paper Mario came out on the N64 and people have been in love with the series ever since. This time around, Mario needs to help keep his flat friends from being folded into origami. You know, that old chestnut. These are real life problems, okay? I feel like it's art imitating life. Okay, nobody wants to be folded into origami metaphorically. There's something about the paper dynamic and the witty dialogue that makes this such a fun and lovable series. If those games don't get you excited just about being a gamer in general, well, I got one more. The Xbox Games Showcase is scheduled for July 23rd, and we're getting a sneak peek as to some of the games that will be revealed. Regardless of any surprises, the game that will be getting the most attention is Halo Infinite. In 2015, Halo 5 was released. In 2017, Halo Wars 2 came out. And now, in 2020, we'll be able to get our hands on the newest installment of Halo Infinite. Until the new Halo game comes out, fans of the franchise can regain their sense of nostalgia by playing Halo 3, which just recently became available on PC. I get a lot of DMs asking how to get into esports, and there are many different paths to follow. One of those paths is getting good at Rainbow Six Siege. Ubisoft is launching a brand new collegiate esports league featuring a $30,000 prize pool. Clubs from colleges across North America will be able to register in online programs. But for that big payday, each school can nominate one team to compete in the Rainbow Six Collegiate Championship. If you're interested in the esports grind and an incredible gamer, <laughs> that's rule number one. I do actually suggest giving Rainbow Six Siege a try. Who knows, this side hustle might end up becoming a full-time gig. You can't win if you don't try, you feel? To close the show, we're going to keep things light, although some people might view this as a tragedy. During a live stream, Super Smash Bros. Melee Pro Hungrybox was showing off his dinner when said tragedy struck. As heartbreaking as floor pizza is, 
We've seen this happen before on Twitch. And this one's even better. Yeah. Goodbye, delicious pizza, spaghetti, meatballs, and keyboard. <laughs> why, why, why is it all Italian food? This is, this is a shame. We'll see you all next week with more gaming news and bar downloadable. Until then, uh, keep your food on your plates, all right?